Hi right, guys, uh, today I want to show you guys how to install your four piston uh, oil pump on your K series. I did try this a couple weeks ago, I made a mistake and I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way so that you guys don't make that mistake I did. This needs to be removed, okay? I've seen videos where they'll tap something in there and they will pull it right out. I tapped something in there, it didn't come out, it almost did, and then I tapped it in a little bit harder, and of course my tool broke inside there. So I went to drill it out, but that did not work due to it being a forged steel tip. And then I tried drilling it out again, and my bit uh, broke. So don't make that mistake I did, guys. Don't make that mistake. So I have to figure out a way to go around it. My friend that can help me, he lives far. Um, it's more of a pain to get him out here to give me a quick five minute job help. Uh, Cause I know he can get that out cause he's got the correct tools. So I had to compromise. I live in the awesome community where I posted that I need some help with this. And this is the solution. This guy sits um, just like that. So I had a bolt welded on right there and I had it closed off on the back end just in case if there is any kind of pressure that shoots anything out it's uh, it won't go anywhere and this is um, let me flip this around it's a bolt that's welded on there it's enclosed and it, it it pretty much sit it pretty much sits right against the the upper oil pan if that's what you want to call it girdle the girdle I forget this one's a little bit different than my other car but it sits right against it so um, there's still little gaps but if that popped out or if that came out um, it can't get outside of this hole. So my other fix is going to be to fill this in with silicone and silicone the top of that so that there is, it's completely sealed. So no matter what can happen, will hopefully not happen. So again, don't make that mistake. Um, get that out because on the K24 uh, A2 blocks I think possibly all the K24s that has to come out the K20s don't have this issue um, but that has to get blocked because that is a uh, oil pressure that feeds the stock system like the balance shaft system which goes into there and helps with all this contrapment this is the new K20 ported uh, K-series oil pump. I got new chains. I ordered everything from 4-piston, new bolts that are needed, um, a timing guide that came with their kit, and let me make sure. I think there is also a chain. Yeah, the chain. The only thing that did not come from this kit is... The timing guide, I think it's more like a, a tensioner. This guy here, and that is that part there. Whoop, just made a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. So, uh, and in the last video I said, I wasn't sure if you removed this. This is the windage tray, and from your K24 blocks, it get replaced with a K20 uh, windage tray. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these bolts, um, remove all this, those two big bolts got to go, and I'm going to go ahead and start with siliconing that. So I'll remove those bolts and then silicone the inside of this and make sure that it's completely siliconed and if this ever were to pop out, um, it can't go anywhere. Not only can it not go anywhere, I can't lose oil pressure from it leaking through here. 
because there is a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then take care of that. Alright guys, there goes the windage tray and also like I mentioned with the silicone, it is 100% silicone all around. Uh, this will be well, well dried um, by the time this car is running or this motor is running. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the oil pump over here and see how that looks. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this guide first. When I put these guides on, I plan on using some Loctite that I have. Just because I don't want these backing out. <laughs> Which I did get new guides also. Check out the guide difference. Actually don't know why this is longer. It's kind of weird. But it goes right there. And then the tensioner goes on this side. I'm going to use red lock tight on these. All right, guys, there it is. Um, I did go back, I pulled these out real quick and red lock tight to them. Those are locked tight. This guy goes here, and then I pull that little clip out, and that's the tensioner. So, easy peasy. Um, trying to think what else I'm going to need to do. I think that's really it. Um, it did come with new bolts to replace these stock ones. I just kept the stock bolts. Um, the kit did come with this new bolt from 4-Piston. And other than that, you reuse these bolts. Those long bolts were used on the back side of the stock uh, oil pump, which I did not re-thread in there because they won't thread all the way down because there's this big old hunk a piece that they that's a big like spacer so there's no need for them again my magical little mess it's gonna fix it's gonna work that's gonna dry I'm not gonna have any issues with it I hope you guys let me know what you guys think about that but now let's go ahead and bolt this guy on right here And I do plan on red lock tighting uh, 
these bolts as well, which I'm going to get those bolts ready for right now. There goes the old crusty one. I took the three bolts off. Just old. Old, old, old. And here goes the new one. So if anyone knows my luck, if I didn't fix, if I didn't replace this, something would have happened. I mean, if the, I didn't replace the guide, the guide, something would have happened. If anyone knows my luck, something would have happened. So I'm trying to cross all my T's and dot my I's. Oh. Now let's go ahead and get this guy on. And I did add red Loctite to them. <clears throat> this is my battery's a little low. Hopefully it has enough battery to finish this video. Go ahead and tighten these guys up. All right, so camera died. I had to put my other battery in there. Make sure these are nice and tight. And they most definitely are. So time to pull this little tensioner thing. I don't know how this works. Oh, that's it. There it is. Nice and tight. That is how easy it is to install your uh, four piston ported uh, oil pump. Sorry guys, I was thinking. But that's it, so it's all on. The only mistake I made, and I'm gonna keep saying, don't make that mistake. I had a ghetto fix, it's gonna work, I'm not concerned about it. But that's it, now, I think what I want to do next are the timing guides, get that all on, get this all sealed up, and oil pan, uh, valve lash. So those are all videos that I plan on doing next. So there it is guys. Super simple, super easy to do. The four piston oil pump. Uh, this is the K-Series. K-Series four piston ported oil pump. Something along those lines. I'll post the link again down in the description box. But other than that mistake that I made, super easy. Super easy, guys. So I highly recommend this for you K24 guys. Um, do this. Replace your guides. This one was $130. bucks. i will try to post the part numbers uh, to make it easier. But if you order from 4Piston, um, uh, they have this and everything here except for this. This I did order from Jeff from Revline. So if you order anything from his website over $100, use the code RS8. Okay guys, apparently my Hero 5 died. But as I was saying, uh, I got this timing guide from Jeff from Revline, uh, Jeff Revline at uh, Revline Motors, I believe it is, or Motorsport, something like that. I'll post a link in the description. If you order from his website, um, use the code RS18, anything over $100, you get 5% off. Every, every dime and nickel say, uh, is a penny saver for us in this uh, community. So thank you, Jeff, for that code. But, um, that's it, guys. I already told you guys what's coming next. So like, subscribe, share the video. The install is super easy. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit harder if it's all on the car. Uh, that's, that's a given. But if you pull the motor, you have a K24A2, 
uh, any K24 uh, motor, I believe, is going to be like this, where you got to plug up that uh, port. But that's it, guys. Like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you guys for watching again.